So here's the uh, two-stroke sleeve valve uh, crazy type Briggs in um, not in operation but the sleeve drive mechanism with a piston in it. I've got it operating here. Slow it down to um, show you a little bit. So the piston's at the top. The sleeve's already been at the top 15 degrees ahead of the piston. Uh, the piston's at the top now. Sleeve's already on the way down slightly. Then the piston starts down. Sleeve's moving. And the sleeve will uncover the exhaust ports and then the intake ports. And the piston's coming back up again. So oh, that's the operation. So I have to cut portholes in the block here, up at the top for exhaust and down at the bottom through the sleeve and the block for the intake and then build an intake manifold around the block at the appropriate height. But this is um, the first time I've driven the um, the whole thing. Now the, the sleeve is, uh, like I said, 3D plastic printed sleeve. So I've still got to fabricate the um, steel one. And as you can see, the piston's got slop in it. That's because um, it needs to run a 30 thou over piston. And this is a stock size. Um, but it's a good demonstrator. Other than that, it's dimensionally correct height wise and everything. Ideally, this knot shouldn't be in the block here. That's from use as a four-stroke sleeve valve where we tried to put a contracting ring on the outside of the sleeve. Couldn't do it at the bottom of the sleeve where it needed to be, so we tried the top. Didn't work out so well. Anyway, don't want to bore you there. Just more of the same type of sleeve valve action there on the two stroke. So, it's coming along.